Oh, we didn't see this one coming. On the show, I am now on. Now, to actually register yourself for the. It's just so hard. The work, there's nothing in here. Hey guys, welcome back to episode number five of my weekly vlogs. Today's weekly vlog, we are officially six weeks out from the WBFF show and I thought I'll do something a little bit different. I thought I'll sit down and I'll answer some questions in regards to comp prep, how I'm feeling, how much it costs to actually compete for a federation like WBFF and the ins and outs. So obviously I am officially six weeks out. That is crazy to me it is literally a month and two weeks until i compete get up on that stage like can i just say this has been probably one of the best preps i have ever done i've had a lot of things happen in my life yet my mindset has been the best it ever has and it's definitely due to the support and due to my coach so massive shout out to josh phillips for coaching me through to this comp. I am so incredibly grateful and so incredibly grateful for everything that he's done and how much support I have gotten from him. Um, so first off, let's dive deep into obviously the cost of it. Now, this is something that I get quite a fair bit is how much does WBFF actually cost to compete? So I'm going to put the figures up on the page, but Obviously, you've got your federation cost. Now, to actually register yourself for the comp, it is around $600 USD. Now, this doesn't include stage photos and videos. Stage photos are an extra $200, and I'm pretty sure the videos are an extra $150 USD. So, by the time you package everything together, and you purchase your photos and your videos, it comes to roughly around $1,300 Australian. So it is a very pricey and that's just to register. Obviously there is things like photo shoots, video shoots, things like this that a lot of competitors want to do prior to competing. And this is because simply you're not gonna be the leanest that you are all year round. It is a comp. so. Photo shoots are just kind of a representation and a good way to celebrate how hard you have worked for those 20 weeks straight. Um, so these can vary anywhere from $500 all the way up to $2,000. I am doing two shoots, so I've got one shoot booked in, which is roughly around 1,200, but this includes hair, makeup, and it also includes outfits as well. Um, and that's done at a location as well. So that's all completely paid for. I do have another shoot, which is a little bit cheaper, which is at $550. So these are also things that you need to consider. So photo shoots are, could be, yeah, anywhere from $550 all the way up to $2,000, which you've got to put into your budget as well. And obviously your bikini. Now for females, we have our bikini. We also have our um, theme wear if we are doing fitness or figure and you have your gown rounds. So depending on what category you're doing, I'm doing wellness category. So I have my bikini and obviously my gown round. So bikini can vary anywhere from $800 all the way up to 2,000, 3,000 plus. I was pretty lucky in the sense that I got mine back in 2021 when I was supposed to compete, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched those previous vlogs that I did back in 2021. Can't believe how much I've changed already. Um, so those, that bikini, I'm still gonna wear. 
and that bikini cost me from memory $1,300 to get completely custom made by Glam Fit. Um, so there's that obviously my gown is going to cost me around $800 USD so by the time I convert it it's roughly around $1,300. Um, and that's just for the gown round. Then you've also got the registration fees. So registration night is the Friday night before you compete. Now everyone gets dressed up to the dine and it's a good way to get your eye into the judges field. So you obviously want to do yourself up nicely and you obviously want to represent yourself with pride on that night. So the judges know that you are eager to win and that you are in it to win it. Um, so that comes at a cost too. Now registration can go from anywhere from $800 all the way up to the thousands as well. I am doing it pretty cheap this year and I'm actually going to rent a dress. So I'm renting a dress for roughly around $350. So that's my prices. Um, so that's your kind of outfits for the day. Obviously you got your shoes. Um, these can vary from $80 all the way up to, you know, the hundreds, depending on how much you want to spend. Um, and yeah, you've got all that type of stuff, your jewelries, your hair, your makeup, your tan, um, tan costs around $200. And then your makeup for the day costs around $230. Um, by WBFF, they do have a policy where you have to do your hair and makeup by them. Um, just so everyone is kind of even in the field of makeup and no one's kind of over glam themselves. Um, so that's really good. So hair and makeup is kind of like all done by WBFF. So there's that as well you have to put into consideration. Now, that is pretty much the day. That's show day. That's peak week. You've also got to take in consideration in terms of costs, coaching. Now, obviously you can coach yourself to the show. I did this back in ICN days when I competed for ICN back in 2019. I coached myself. That was completely free. But if you're paying a coach, these, these costs can blow yourself out of the water because obviously you're paying on a weekly basis. So these can vary from $80 a week all the way up to $150 a week, um, depending on what coach you currently have. So you've also got to take in consideration of that. Posting lessons as well is advised. Um, you can do weekly posting sessions, fortnightly, monthly, whatever you are capable of and how much support and how much practice you need. I am doing weekly sessions and these are costing me $110 a week. Um, so there's that fee that you also have to put into consideration. So all these numbers are adding up very quickly. In summary, to compete for WBFF, I would suggest for anyone who is a beginner or anyone who wants to step into this federation to save easy at least $10,000 Australian. So yes, this number sounds very scary, but if you break it down, this is everything in total. This is your groceries. This is your coaching. This is your posing lessons. This is your bikini, your hair, your makeup, your tan, your photo shoots, your shoes, your jewelry. Like that's everything added up. $10,000 roughly. Now these numbers are ballpark figures. So these aren't exactly how much you need and required to compete. Obviously you can do it a lot cheaper. You don't have to do photo shoots. You can coach yourself. Um, you can do all that type of stuff. But if you want to do it good and you want to do it correctly, I would suggest saving around 10,000. This is my first year for competing for WBFF. And this is exactly how much I have saved to compete for this federation. This just kind of eliminates any stress in your life leading up into the show. Obviously, your body's going under a lot of stress from dieting, from your steps, from training, from sleep, from just recovery in general. So making sure your funds and your finances are sorted prior to competing is so incredibly important and it's something that i highly suggest every single athlete or every single person who 
really wants to think about competing does this last thing you need is to be financially stressed coming into the show it's not fun and it's not fun in your body and it's not fun in your mindset you know you've got so many other things to worry about and to stress about you don't want to have to stress about your finances um, so I guess that gives you I get a big idea in terms of financial aspects of competing next up I'm going to show you my physique. So come with me to the kitchen while we do a strip down and I'll show you exactly how I look six weeks out from the WBFF November show, which I am so excited to compete. So let's go. Let's show you my physique. My calories have changed six weeks out from the show. I am now on 1600 calories. I am doing seven days of cardio or 30 minutes on the SEPA. So the timing on the SEPA hasn't changed, thankfully, but I am officially doing seven days. So every single day I'm on that SEPA. I'm training my ass off. I'm getting sweaty. Do I like it? No, but I do it anyway because we're in it to win it and we have that mindset. No stopping me now. 17, no, 1600 calories. I am feeling really good. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling strong. Sleep has been a little bit iffy these days, but we are just trying to get it done. Like we're just focusing obviously on recovery um, and meal timings. I cannot stress enough how freaking important meal timings are. Like if you stuff this up, you're literally left being hungry for the rest of the day. So something to really take into consideration if you are wanting to compete is making sure that you focus on when you have your meals because the lower your calories go, the more you're going to be food focused and the more you're going to rely on food for energy. So making sure that you have something yummy before you train so you have a good solid session. Making sure that you kind of push your first meal out a little bit longer than previously, especially when you do start to go on lower calories, it does help. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm about to go train, do some legs, but first I'm gonna have a little snack. So I'm not starving at the gym and then I'm gonna come home, have my lunch, do some work on the laptop and then go to sleep, repeat every day. Just taking it one day at a time and that's something my mindset has switched is just ticking off the boxes every day. Just trying to keep my mind on the daily tasks, not looking at the bigger picture, not looking at the future, just looking at my daily tasks. And my daily tasks are my steps, my water, my sleep, my food, my calories, my training and that is it making sure I tick those boxes when I do job done job done and dusted but yeah that's a big point that I have for anyone who wants to compete is focus on the daily nail your daily tasks first and the job gets easier Howdy, howdy. It is 12.30. I am about to go and train. Now, I'm not going to take you guys with me, mainly because it's the same workout that I did last week. Now, if you want to go check out what I usually would do on a Thursday, go check out last week's episode where I did a week of workouts. I go into depth into what I was training, what I am currently training at the moment. Nothing really has changed. So I'm not going to take you guys along with me, but this is the set that I am going for today. It's from right away. You can use my discount at the checking code because I am an ambassador for them. So go chop. 
So go shop their range online and then use my discount code Shannon for 10% off. But this is my set. I am loving it. It is so me. It's so pink. It's so vibrant. And it's so my vibe now coming into summer. On that note, I'm going to go have some pre-workout. I've had my pre-workout snacks. I'm going to have some coffee into my system. Go train and then get my lashes done because they are due for another appointment. Can't believe it's been three weeks already. And then come home, do some client checking calls and then call it a night, I reckon. Gonna have another early night tonight. But yeah, keen to go train some legs. We're feeling good. Hype is up. Let's go. That is literally the fourth take I've done on that. <sighs> Compre brain. It just doesn't work. There's nothing in here. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. All right, so this is probably a better look at the outfit, but feeling good, feeling vibey. It's a pink day and I'm excited. I'm so excited. Let's go. My afternoon snack, so post-workout meal. I've just got 180 grams of potatoes, 100 grams of chicken. I've got some frozen veggies and then my cup of tea with some low-fat milk. That's my little post-workout treat. Yum and a heap of salt, as you can see. So good. Yes, yes. And then the following week, that's when we kind of take things to failure. So that's when you start to push sure that you aim. Like, obviously, we don't want to, you know, go to your max or go to your failure. But Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is Friday. Didn't really do much last night. I did some client calls and some work on the laptop. And then literally caught it a night. So that is why I currently haven't picked up the camera until today. It's Friday. Um, yeah. I honestly, like my brain, the lower, the, the lower, the further you go in comp prep, the more your brain cells just, just don't work anymore. So anyway, I've been up this morning. I've done my morning cardio. I've done my posing. I had a posing lesson feeling really confident with my posing now. So it's getting a lot more flowy. It's getting a better and smoother, which is awesome. We added a few more steps in, which I'm so excited to practice and just absolutely nail. Um, yeah, officially six weeks out as of tomorrow. Like where do these weeks go? I feel like I just started these vlogs and here we are six weeks out. So feeling really good, feeling confident, had my checking with my coach protocols don't change next week thank god that means that my calories stay the same yes i am so freaking excited because yeah girl i don't think i could do another um calorie drop anytime soon like i just want to adjust to the calories that i have currently so i'm going to go shopping do my food shop because i'm low on a few things and get potatoes egg whites more eggs what else do I need to get? get vegetables. I'm going to try to include a lot more fresh veggies in like zucchini, capsicum, onion, all that fun stuff. Might even get some celery, add some celery into my diet. But yes, so that's kind of like on the agenda. Don't really have much planned. I will keep this vlog going. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to film over the weekend, but I'll keep it going. So I'm going to keep filming over the weekend it's going to be like kind of like a weekly vlog um i just didn't film monday tuesday or wednesday because i didn't you know sometimes you just need some time off and i will probably update you guys on everything that's been happening in my life once it's all sorted because if you've seen my instagram i was in a car accident last week um but don't really want to go into depth at the moment. I might go into depth in a couple of weeks time when I'm ready. 
so yeah it's been some big things happen recently but i will sit down and deload everything with you all in the future anyway i'm going to do some work on the laptop so i'll check in with you later on bye like i just it's just hard you know it's just so hard don't don't know what to do okay bye fun talking to you